beginning in horse stance. So wide legs, turn the feet out about 45 degrees and then bend into your stance. Drawing the low belly in, nice secure midline, 3D cinch around the waist like you're squeezing a tube of toothpaste. Okay, this is our exhale and we really draw everything into the midline for that strong controlled exhale. Inhale, we'll start with pivoting to the front of the mat and taking a pyramid stance. So our front foot is facing forward, our back foot is turned out again about 45 degrees. Our hips are facing forward in line with the front of the mat and when we Inhale, we are going to fold, but with an extension of the spine and a lifted gaze. So we'll inhale here in our pyramid fold, and then we'll exhale that nice strong exhale back to center. Now to the opposite side, back of the mat, pivot into those pyramid legs. Inhale that extended fold, strong exhale back to center. So keep going with that pivot. Pyramid, inhale, pivot, horse stance, exhale, other side, pivot, we drop into that extended fold, inhale, and exhale into the midline, nice and strong, keep going. One more time each side. Last one to the front. And last one to the back. Back into that horse stance and then inhale, straighten the legs. Reach the hands towards the sky. Exhale, hands come behind. You find a clasped hand position. Inhale, open that chest. Exhale, fold forward. Shake out the head and the neck. Make sure you're releasing any tension you're holding there. Come up enough to find that flat back and a nice position to release your clasp. Bring your hands back down to the mat and fold forward again. Inhale, flat back. Walk your hands to the front of the mat, turning your feet as you go. We're gonna drop down the left knee, and then we're going to swoop the right leg up and back. At the same time, you can see that this left leg kickstands out. The left hand stays grounded, and we're coming into a modified half moon on our knee instead of our foot. Inhale, reach out of all of those half moon angles. Exhale, step forward, and inhale, we're gonna keep that extended gaze and spine just like we did in our pyramid shape and tap the left knee to the right calf. Exhale, step back, set, it, set down your hands, set down your knee. Inhale, supported half moon. Exhale, step forward, lifted gaze. We inhale and tap. Exhale, step it back and open. Inhale, half moon. Exhale, step forward. Inhale, lift, tap. Exhale, step back. Inhale, open, half moon. Keep going. Let's go for five. Four. Three. Two, last one, back to that supported half moon. Now this one is meant to be a little playful, a little explorative. 
Now this kickstand leg is gonna pivot in and out, and we're gonna swing this extended leg forward and back at the same time. So we're swinging it forward, we're in a revolved runner's lunge. We're swinging it back, we're in that supported half moon. We're gonna exhale forward, revolved runner's lunge, inhale back, supported half moon. So keep playing there, exhale forward, inhale back, exhale forward, and inhale back. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Stay in your runner's lunge, your revolved runner's lunge. Now this next one is really simple, but it's a little bit of a pat your head and rub your belly. So we're gonna break it down first and then put it together. So first of all, bring that right hand down for now. We don't need to revolve the torso at first. And right now we're in a runner's lunge with this straightened front leg. We're on the heel of the right leg. And we're just gonna bend that front leg and plant the foot coming into a low lunge and then pop onto that heel and straighten the front leg coming into the runner's lunge. Bend, low lunge, straighten, runner's lunge. Bend, low lunge, straighten, runner's lunge. Bend, straighten, bend, straighten. So that's simple enough, right? We bend, we straighten, we bend, and we straighten. Now when we have the leg straight, go ahead and plant that left hand, reach the right arm towards the sky. We're in the revolved runner's lunge position. Your torso is gonna remain revolved. Your body's gonna turn towards the right and stay that way for this entire transition. Now as we bend and plant the foot, we're going to lift and reverse. As we straighten the front leg and come onto the heel, we lower. So, you're so I'm going to just bend this leg for now to just show you to isolate the upper body portion of this. We're just lifting, lowering, lifting, lowering in a revolved position. Doop, dop, and so forth. <laughs> All right, let's put it together. Runner's lunge, revolved, low lunge, reverse. Runner's lunge, revolve, evolved, low lunge, reverse. Exhale, lower, inhale, reverse. Exhale, lower, inhale, reverse. We'll go for five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and bend the front leg and bring that right arm down. Wiggle the right foot to the outside of the mat and come onto the knife edge of the right foot and push the knee out to the right. We're gonna extend the left leg long and then take the right arm, windmill it up overhead as we turn and bring our, our torso with us. Reach that right arm alongside in the same direction as the extended left leg. We're gonna revolve lizard lunge. Okay, now with that right arm, reach it straight behind you in line with that leg, but lift it now. And we're gonna side swoop it. Now as it comes over to this knee, bring the knee in. As it comes over to this foot, bring the foot in. So we're not opening the knee and the foot anymore. Once this, let, this arm comes forward, the knee and the foot come forward with it. Now from here, we're gonna windmill up with the grounded hand, not this lifted one. Left hand's gonna windmill up. As we come up, we're gonna straighten this right leg. So I've kinda got an L shape here. Runner's leg for the front leg. Now, if you want a little added challenge, you drop the left hand down to the left heel and you can reach this right arm over head. So you can see that I'm in a runner's lunge in the front leg, my right leg, and I'm in a half camel with my left arm and my left leg. So try to stabilize that. It's a, it's a little precarious, but that means we're doing work and that's good. Take a few breaths here. 
inhale exhale recruit your power <sighs> lift up bend that front leg plant your hands on either side and then lift the quad to the belly round the back like a cat pose and take that right knee back and drop it below the hips so the knees are below the hips hands are below the shoulders classic cat cow now inhale extend look up exhale to round chin to chest inhale keep that belly secure 3d that squeeze tube of toothpaste throughout the rise and lower one more time we look up cow position exhale tuck that tailbone spread the shoulder blades chin to chest cat back to that nice secure neutral spine 3d cinch around the waist we're going to enter in a little nerve flossing here so the best way to wrap your head around this is that when my gaze drops my belly drops when my gaze lifts my belly lifts and we're going to sink that so they're happening at the same time gaze drop belly drop gaze lift belly lift i'm going to inhale here at the top and exhale when i drop inhale exhale making your brains work today inhale and exhale keeping you sharp maybe awakening dormant areas that are just so used to doing the same movements and the same things let's mix it up not to mention internally what we're doing here is we're doing a little tug of war of the nerve endings to kind of create and restore glide through the tissues in case there's impingement or adhesions so we're tug of warring the tissues in one direction and the nerve in the other it's really good for you internally all right back to neutral position and we're just going to take it to the opposite side all those lovely things that we've done on the other side so we're going to kick stand out the right leg stay on the right knee and open into that supported half moon inhale reach exhale turn face forward plant the left foot inhale lift knee to calf extend the spine look up exhale step it back inhale half moon exhale step forward inhale tap exhale step back and inhale half moon step it forward you can keep those fingertips down or maybe you lift them for a little extra challenge just make sure we're not rounding the back here exhale step back and inhale half moon for five four three two and one landing in that half moon and again this one's a little it's a burner and it's a little challenging so keep the um, intention of playfulness and curiosity exploring with you as we swing the right leg or the left leg forward the right kickstand leg back land in that revolved lunge exhale and then inhale whoosh, rotate swing it open half moon exhale whoosh, runners lunge inhale half moon you're trying to make it as graceful and controlled as possible at the same time i know you can feel those pelvic stabilizers on fire because mine are whoosh, let's go for five four three two and one landing and staying in that runner's lunge position and go ahead and bring that left arm down really quickly because we've already discussed this and done it on the other side bend the front leg straighten the front leg bend it straighten it low lunge runner's lunge low lunge runner's lunge okay now let's take that revolve position with the torso always facing towards the left go ahead and just keep the left leg bent and we'll just do the arm movement reverse 
revolve, reverse, revolve, lift and reverse, lower revolve. Okay, let's add, let's put them together. So we straighten that front leg, revolved runner's lunge, bend and lift, reverse low lunge. Rever revolve, inhale, reverse, exhale, revolve, inhale, reverse. Five, four, three, two, and one. Come back into that revolved position. Bend the front leg. Walk the left foot out a little. Come on the outer knife edge of the left foot and open the knee. Plant the right hand. Bring the right leg long and straight, extended. Lift the left arm up, windmill it back so it's in line with that extended right leg. Take a couple breaths here. Okay, lift the left arm. Now we're gonna side plane, bring it forward, this side swoop. As we side swoop it, when it comes in line with the knee, it brings the knee forward. As it comes in line with the foot, it brings the foot forward. Now from here, keep this left arm reaching forward. We're gonna windmill up the right arm and straighten the left leg. Now you've got your L shape with your arms. Added challenge, keep going with the right arm back. Find your, left, your right heel and then you can reach the left arm up and overhead. Try to square off the chest and the hip points. Lots of little micro stabilization happening to pull this one off. Stay strong, keep breathing. Inhale and exhale, really recruit to pull up with power and strength. Swing those hands back, plant them and step the left foot back. Come onto your knees. And then go ahead and just sit back onto your heels. Come into this kneeling position and take a couple breaths. <sighs> okay. Today's flow is really making your brain work over time. And I absolutely encourage you to retry it. Retry it over and over. It'll become smoother. You'll connect all those new maps in your brain and your body. And I think that's just incredible. We just kind of stress out our system and mix it up and do something different. And then we grow better and stronger for it. All right, we're going to come to standing at the top of our mat. So make your way there. Find your way into mountain pose, grounding into your feet, finding that strong stability by rocking side to side, forward and back, finding those four corners of the feet. Okay, we're gonna come into equal pose, grounding into the right leg, taking the right arm underneath the left. In this eagle, this eagle variation, I want you to lift your elbows as high as your shoulders and then pull them away, forcing a spreading of the scapulas, forcing a spreading of the shoulder blades away from the spine, that rounding of the upper back. Inhale here, and then exhale to unwind. This left leg, top leg is gonna lift and swoop behind at an angle. Our thoracic region, our torso is gonna turn to the right, so we're revolved here, and we're gonna dip down into a little curtsy lunge. Now we're gonna to turn to the left to come up and out of this and unwind, pivoting and landing in a triangle position in the lower body. I want you to take a side angle, stretch with the upper body, reaching the right arm up and overhead. Look forward, inhale and stretch. Exhale, bend the front leg, look where you're going. We're gonna come up and open into a strong half moon. Inhale, reach. Exhale brings the right arm down and turns the chest down as well, but keep the leg where it's at. We're just gonna swing the leg in till we have a 90 degree angle with the legs. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, plant the right foot down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise and exhale, hands alongside the body. 
taking it to the opposite side. Ground through the left foot, left arm is going to come underneath the right arm. Sink down into your eagle pose. Lift the elbows as high as the shoulders and pull them away. Rounding the upper back, spreading the scapulas. Inhale. Exhale, unwrap and with this top leg, swoop it back and behind as we revolve the torso, curtsy lunge lower. And then inhale, unwind and drop the legs into a triangle position. Reach with the upper body into a side angle position, reaching that left arm up and overhead. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, bring the chest, the gaze, the hand, right hand down, bend the front leg. Find your power, recruit it, and inhale, lift into your half moon. Inhale, reach. Exhale, bring the left arm down, the chest down. Swing the left leg in. Fire hydrant position with the legs, 90 degree angle. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale, drop it down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands by your side. Let's try that one more time each side so we can smooth it out a little bit. Grounding through the right foot, right arm comes under. Eagle position, inhale, lift those elbows. Exhale, unwind, step it back. Revolve the torso, curtsy lunge. Inhale, unwind, find that triangle position, side angle stretch overhead, inhale. Exhale, power into your half moon. Inhale, reach. Exhale, right hand down, swing the right leg in. Inhale, lift and reach, 90 degree angle with the legs. Exhale, drop the right leg down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to rise. Exhale, hands by your side. <sighs> left side, ground through the left leg. Left arm goes up or goes under and wraps. Inhale, lift the elbows up. And exhale, unwind, step it back at an angle, revolve the torso, curtsy lunge, drop it. Inhale, unwind, find the triangle, triangle position, and reach long overhead with that left arm. Exhale, look where you're going, bend the front leg, and inhale, half moon. Exhale, bring the left arm down and swing that left leg in. Inhale, 90 degree angle, fire hydrant with the legs. And exhale, drop the left foot down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, to fold. Wiggle those feet till they're mat distance apart. And go ahead and lower the hips all the way down. We're going to find our way into Malasana. Elbows on the inside of the legs. Per hands pressed together to press the legs out. Reach the spine long, lifting through the crown of the head. Take a couple breaths here. Rounding the back, reaching the arms forward, slowly lowering all the way on to the sit bones. Find your way into Gomukhasana legs. So that's cow face position. We're going to bring the right leg on top. Knees are stacked. Heels are on the outside of the hips, so we're not sitting on our feet. Go ahead and come forward. Plant the hands. Take the left leg, even though it's over to the right, and tuck the toes under. We're going to lift up and back into a downward-facing dog, still hugging that left leg with our right one. Lean back. Take a breath here. Next inhale brings us forward into a hover, keeping this position with the legs. Next, rotate side plank onto the right hand, and then exhale, hip dip. Lower, lower, lower. And then hip lift and extend that left arm overhead, that simulating that side angle position with the arm once again. Exhale, plant the left hand and rotate back into the downward facing dog variation. Let's do that a couple more times. Inhale forward to a hover. Rotate over to that side plank and exhale the hips down. Inhale, reaches as we lift the hips and exhale. Downward facing dog. Inhale, forward hover. Exhale to turn. Lower the hips. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale, downward facing dog. Come forward into that hover, but slow, 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 lower all the way down to the knees and sit back. 
go mukasana legs take a breath switch legs left leg on top of the right knees are stacked feet are on the outside of the hips well, i'm moving my mat around like crazy let me adjust that really quickly all right once you've found those go mukasana legs we come forward and plant the hands now the right leg that's pointed over to the left we tuck those toes and then we're going to lift up and back into our downward facing dog variation take a couple breaths next inhale rolls us forward into the hovering tabletop then exhale to come into that side plank left hand stays grounded and we dip the hips inhale lift the hips and reach the right arm overhead long exhale turn and shift back downward facing dog inhale brings us forward to that hover exhale side plank variation dip the hips inhale lift the hips reach long exhale downward facing dog one more time inhale forward exhale dip the hips side plank inhale lift and reach exhale downward facing dog inhale brings us forward to that hover and then lower 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 sit all the way back go mukasana beautiful unwrap your legs come onto your back all right we might as well do some more brain brain teasers brain body teasers the theme of the day we're going to start in eagle position supine the right leg's going to be on the bottom the left is going to wrap around the top the right arm's going to be on the bottom the left on top now from here i really want you to round the spine so you're lifting up your pelvis and you're lifting up your shoulders so that the elbow taps the knees. Then we're going to unwrap and straighten our legs. So the lower leg is going to go straight out and the top leg is going to point straight up. The lower arm is going to point straight up and this top arm is going to reach out. So I call this Swiss Army knife. And then we wrap it back the same way. And it should make sense to wrap that way and unwrap that way. That's nine, eight, seven, six, keep those shoulders lifted, five, four, three, two, and we one, and release. Quick breath here, then we switch sides. So left leg is gonna go under, right leg on top, left arms under, right leg is on top. Curl the tailbone around the spine, lift the shoulders, elbows to knees. Same thing, when we unwrap, it should make sense. This leg, the elbow that is touching the knee, those limbs are gonna go straight up. The other limbs are going to extend overhead and long. And then it makes sense how we wrap back up unravel ravel eight seven six five four three two and one release Woo. <laughs> Rock and roll till you're up on your sit bones. We're going to do a Navasana rainbow. So you're going to use your kickstand hands here. And we'll inhale from the, both legs over to the left side. And you're balancing on your left side hip. We're going to inhale, draw a rainbow across the side. The sky exhale, bring the legs straight down to the other one. Now we're balancing on the right side hip. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, and exhale down we got eight seven six five four three two 
and one. Back to center, let it go. All right, this last one, you can take it as far as you want to. I'll show you um, like a couple different options that you have. We're gonna roll back into plow. If you don't feel comfortable going all the way back into plow, then you can just roll back. Just a simple rounded roll, okay? If you wanna take it all the way to plow, don't move your head or your neck. Keep them nice and long and looking up. Then we're gonna come forward and your option could be to come forward and try to land yourself in a malasana. Your other option is to come forward, plant the hands, put the knees and hug them onto the outside of the triceps, lean forward, head goes forward, not butt up and head down. You lean forward and maybe you take a crow. Then you come back down through that malasana, you round, you roll back. Maybe you just roll back, maybe you roll back to plow. Then you come forward either to malasana perhaps to crow. Two more times. Your last crow hold or malasana hold, I want you to stay here for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Come down, roll it back. <sighs> Coming into your supine twist, legs over to the left, gaze, upper body over to the right. Back through center, take it to the opposite side. Legs over to the right, gaze, upper body, left, ground those shoulders down. Come back to center. Roll over onto your belly. We're gonna lift up into Logos. So place your forehead on the ground and your arms alongside your body. Press down into your pelvis and then lift all limbs and gaze and chest up off the ground. Hold for 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Extend the right arm out to the side. Place your left hand down to the side in a cactus arm. We're going to roll open to the left, coming onto that right side shoulder. Kickstand that left leg behind you. Okay, coming back to center. Forehead down, press into the pelvis. Inhale, lift up. Shalabhasana, locust position. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Shoulder stretch opposite side. So we're bringing that left arm out to the left, directly out from the shoulder. Kickstand the right hand. And then roll open to the right, kickstanding the right leg behind. And coming out, coming back onto your belly. This time I'm gonna give you the option to come into a bow pose. So drawing the heels towards the glutes, reaching back, finding those ankles. And then we're gonna push the ankles into the hands to lift and open the chest. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, 
three, two, one. Releasing with grace by coming down, but not releasing the hands from the ankles. And then once you are lowered forehead to the mat, then gently release the rest of the way. <sighs> Preparing for our final resting pose, and it's going to be an inversion per usual at the wall. If you have a bolster or a block, grab it. Legs up the wall. So coming as close as you can and then rainbowing those legs until they're up the wall. If you've got a block or a bolster to go under your hips, then plant the feet to lift the hips and slide it under and then put the hips back down. That just elevates the hips a little higher than the heart, adding to the inversion qualities. Legs up the wall it is, like I always say, one of my very favorite postures, and it has so many benefits. Being able to stay here for three to five minutes at least will hugely benefit you. I think that this pose is the fountain of youth pose, and it looks like a fountain, so that fits as well. And we're doing such good work with reversing the effects of gravity and churning up stagnation, improving our circulation and our blood flow. So spend some time here, even after I say goodbye for today. And remember to come play with us over on social media. We've got a month-long challenge going on. We do creative movements Monday through Thursday. We've got myofascial release on Fridays. And Friday through Sunday, we do a little handstand skills, drills, and thrills. Yay. We're doing it all month long. And on December 2nd, I'm going to be hosting a live online handstand workshop. So for all of those things and to find out more, you can go to my social media, which is at Upside Down Mama. You can go to my website, which is UpsideDownMama.com. Thank you so much for joining me today. Have a wonderful, balanced, and energized day. Namaste.